Jeffrey and his friends on on self improvement. Why would they be? Reading is for nerds. Why would we go to the gym? That's gay. Instead of being productive, Jeffrey et al. Take ketamine and McDonald's. They stay up late arguing with each other on Discord, playing video games, and eating junk food. We hate our lives. Yeah. I got into self improvement. I thought that I was better than everyone else. It became quite a lonely journey after I abandoned my stoner friends and my video gamer friends and even my girlfriend just to get onto self improvement. It took me months to realize that working on myself would be ten times more fun if. I I had a tribe to do it with. Imagine that, a friend to hit PRs with in the gym, a girl to meditate with, that's the life. Adonis and his tribe all read Atomic Habits. Like brothers in arms, his tribesmen work out together. They fish, they hunt, they meditate, they build, they grow, all of it in a tribe. Adonis knows the power in brotherhood. Whenever he takes a step forward, I'll pop you in the jaw, little, little guy. He reports back and helps his tribe's men take the same step. Instead of trying to get your friends onto self-improvement as a whole, it's quite like a broad, quite scary concept. It's like improving all parts of your life. Just get them onto the individual habits. So instead of sending my videos to your friends and telling them they should get onto NoFap, they should work out, they should meditate, they should start speaking to strangers, just invite them to do a workout with you. Send them a link to download your favorite meditation app. It'll help them and it's maybe the reason why you've been getting higher grades in class or that you've been like feeling happier. What the f***? That's so last decade, me and all my homies are on nofab now get with it bro send them a link i love to give advice to people but i've realized over a while that people don't really like getting given advice unless they ask for it now oftentimes the best case scenario is just someone just like staring blankly at you and then finishing their sentence what they actually wanted to say worst case scenario is like this person starts to feel like you're preaching to them and it creates like a little bit of friction in your friendship i started weightlifting and i tried to encourage my friends to do it with me and none of them would do i started entrepreneurship making money online i was trying to convince everyone like this is the way you don't like your job either like you should stop making money online maybe we could make a business and no one did meditating reading same thing another thing that i want to get everyone on is trauma work like healing like childhood trauma getting a therapist or a coach and doing a lot of journaling opening up that kind of worm but it's so difficult to get people to do something that they don't want to do because think about it you've been on self-improvement for a while self-improvement is hard enough when you like you badly want it when you're so motivated you're so determined what about for the people who don't even want to be on self-improvement so you know what you got to do there's a whole range of self-improvement habits see which ones your friends are interested intrinsically motivated for. So maybe bring up the idea of improving their mental health, gratitude, journaling, meditation. Maybe they'll be really, really interested in that. Maybe they'll think it's weird. Okay, well then to that same guy, don't push him on meditation if he doesn't want to do it. If he's not intrinsically motivated, if he's not driven to do that, don't push it onto him. Instead, to just work it out with him. Instead, that same friend might be down to grind in studying or maybe making a business. So then you could invite him round and maybe you both go on your laptops and make a website, start a business together. Or maybe your friend is hyped to work out. That's awesome. But that same friend who's hyped to work out might not be interested in making money that's fine you have to remember that people go through different stages of self-improvement for me i started weightlifting at age 17 didn't do anything else productive for like six years straight if someone during those six years tried to convince me of the importance of mental health and reading i would have just thought they were being weird why would i want to do that i just want aesthetics i just want to get f***ing shredded bro and so if you're trying to get your friends onto self-improvement you do have my respect but there's a subtle way to go about it which is just way more effective than just straight up trying to force feed it down them because you've got to think of self-improvement like a menu. Like there's so many different options. Just be the waiter and show them the menu. Show them like, yeah, there's this, there's this, there's this. If they pick one that they like, then show them and you know, give it to them. But don't just grab the whole menu and stuff it down his throat. And if you do this enough, you'll start to build a tribe around you. So you'll have friends to work out with, Hello. friends to like talk about meditation and journaling, friends to talk about business. And maybe you've started a business with a friend. You'll be surrounding yourself with a tribe who's just totally beneficial. Everyone's pursuing delayed gratification. If that's the type of tribe that you want to find yourself in, you can scroll down to the description and I'll link to my Discord where we have like 15,000 guys all discussing this type of stuff. You can make some friends there. Do the hard work, especially when you don't feel like it. Mwah.